Hello everyone, my name is Jan Gertesian and I'm going to talk about optimization of advanced encryption standard on graphic, graphics processing units. So advanced encryption standard, AES in short, arguably the most used encryption algorithm. For this reason, a fast uh, implementation is always useful. There are three implementation techniques which are common for GPUs, the naive approach, table-based implementation, and the bit slice implementation. In the naive implementation, you implement every uh, operation of the uh, cipher one by one. But in the table-based implementation, AES has uh, a 128 bit block size, which is 16 bytes. So in the table-based implementation, uh, we pre-compute uh, results of every possible bytes, which are uh, you know in 16 uh, different tables in this case. So the table-based implementation turns the one round of the cipher into 16 table lookups and 16 XORs. But in GPUs, uh, there's a bottleneck when two different uh, threads try to reach the same uh, shared memory bank, uh, it causes a bank conflict. And the fastest uh, uh, memory type in, on GPU is the shared memory. This is why we keep the tables in the shared memory, but the bank conflicts provide the bottleneck. In the bit slice implementation, each bit of the block, which are in this case 128 bits, are stored in a different register and implementation is performed on every bit, uh, but this provides a, a single instruction, multiple data uh, parallelism in the software level. But the bottleneck in this type of implementations are the available register count. GPUs have limited registers uh, available for each thread and since uh, we need 128 bit registers for every bit uh, of the block, uh, we actually use more than uh, that, uh, that are uh, available for uh, every thread. So the bit slice implementations most of the time cannot have 100% occupancy of the GPU. So we have a lot of good results in the literature, very good uh, table-based and bit sliced optimizations on GPUs. But GPU experiments in the literature are not reproducible since the source codes are not public, which is not a good thing for science. And more importantly, these GPU results compare their uh, optimizations with uh, previous GPU results or CPU results that are performed on, uh, at a software level. But since 2010, Intel and AMD CPUs have hardware level instructions, which are called AES new instruction set that allows us to perform AES encryption at the hardware level. So for fair comparison between GPUs and CPUs, uh, AES and I implementations should be compared. So in this work, uh, this is what we have done. We actually uh, removed the bank conflicts in table-based uh, optimizations. This uh, provided more than 2.56x uh, uh, speed up. And uh, we compared our results with also with uh, CPUs that have hardware level instruction set. Also, we made our implementation publicly available so that uh, everybody can reproduce the same results or in their future optimizations can use them or in their different optimizations can compare their results with ours. We achieved this uh, optimizations by uh, removing the shared memory bank conflicts in table accesses. So uh, in the, actually we uh, provide the 32 copies of a single table to allow each thread in a walk to access different banks. But uh, this caused uh, us to use more than 128 kilobytes of shared memory and current GPUs don't have that much shared memory. So instead of storing four tables, we stored a single table and obtained the others by uh, performing rotation operations. And since CUDA doesn't have rotation operation instruction, we used byte permutation instruction to obtain uh, better results. And also uh, in the final round of AES, 
we don't have the mixed column operation, which uh, prevents us to use our tables, which were pre-computed. We have to use the SBox. Uh, and in this case, we also uh, stored the SBoxes in a very clever way so that uh, uh, we don't have any bank conflicts while accessing the SBox in the final round or through the uh, key schedule algorithm. So let's look at the previous results and compare our results. These are, uh, to the best of our knowledge, the best GPU optimization results in the literature. The best one here is the bit sliced implementation, and the others are uh, table-based implementation. But as we said before, uh, these results should be compared with CPU, CPUs that have hardware level instructions. And even at the uh, uh, result from 2010, a CPU that is built in 2010 and has six cores can achieve one, more than 100 gigabits per second. So as you can see, this makes the other GPU results not that much uh, impressive. So we performed a CPU level optimization again and uh, check this time with modern CPUs. We use the sixth generation Intel CPU, which has four cores. Uh, this result from 2010 had six cores, and we almost achieved the same result, a very close result in this case. And with the 10th generation CPU, which has eight cores, we obtain uh, 134 gigabit per second. Again, this makes uh, other GPU results not that impressive. And more importantly, for fair comparison, we have to check efficiency because these CPUs most of the time uh, do not consume more than 100 watts, but almost all of the GPUs in this table uh, require more than 200 watts on the full load. So first, let's look at, look at our results. Uh, our optimizations provided uh, uh, better results than the previous ones, as you can see. But uh, at, at GTX 970, if you look at the previous best result, it was 123 gigabits per second, but we obtained more than 300 gigabits per second. So this is more than 2.5 times uh, speed up. And again, for fair comparison between GPU models and CPU, we provide the same table, but this time sorted with gigabit per second per watt. And uh, as you can see, CPUs have uh, very close results to GPUs in this case. And our uh, best results uh, provides more than two times uh, better speeds, better throughput compared to previous uh, GPU optimizations and also uh, our CPU hardware level implementations. So we performed our experiments on many different GPUs, mobile and desktop GPUs. And these are the results for three different key sizes of AES. And uh, these implementations are publicly available at this link, and you can also uh, reproduce the same results. And finally, in our optimizations, we modified our uh, kernels. Uh, and instead of uh, performing throughput, we also included the key schedule and performed our kernel into an uh, exhaustive search attack. And this, uh, these are the results we obtained. Uh, with our best GPU, we can uh, search more than uh, this number of keys per second, which is actually more than 5.8 billion. So we did this to compare our results with previous FPGA clusters, and we observed that our optimizations are better than them. So for, as a conclusion, we provided a bank conflict-free GPU implementation of AES for the first time and we reach 878 gigabits per second for AES encryption on a single GPU. This is the best GPU throughput uh, to the best of our knowledge. Our optimizations on GPUs are faster than any CPU which has special hardware instruction set for AES encryption. And our implementations are more than 2.5 times faster than the previous table-based GPU optimizations. Also, our results provide better performance cost ratio compared to legacy FPGA cluster architectures like Copacabana and uh, Riviera. 
And more importantly, even at a, in a, at a low end GPU like MX250, we obtained 60 gigabits per second throughput for AES, which uses 256 secret key, uh, 256 bit secret key. And this is faster than the read write speeds of uh, SSDs. So uh, we can have military grade security on a very low end GPU without any performance loss. So GPUs can be used as a cryptographic co-processor for file or full disk encryption to reduce the performance loss. And with a single GPU as a co-processor, these SSL servers will be free from the burden of encryption, so they can use their CPUs for other tasks. These optimizations will help GPUs to practically verify the theoretically obtained cryptanalysis results in reasonable time. And finally, mining for some cryptocurrencies which use AES-based hash functions can be improved. Thank you for your attention.